Hi, and welcome to the last productive Emacs video on CIDR. Um, we've been exploring CIDR within Emacs for the last couple of videos. Uh, and this one, it's awesome. It is about debugging. Debugging is your friend. So let's take a look at how you can use CIDR's debugging facilities. Well, the first and most simple way to enable debugging a, a, a function is to use the uh, prefix operator control u and then evaluating your function and uh, you will see that it has a really nice red box around it so it's cl quite clear what is being uh, debugged and if you then evaluate the expression you will enter the debugger uh, and you can use the various things um, first one is the continue which will just continue on and nothing will happen for the rest but um, you can also do eval and you can evaluate a piece of code with the local variables as a uh, content for instance if we say eval and we tell it to print out the value of a we will get three which is the exact value here so you can try things if you would want um, here will um, um, enables you to step through the code to a point that you want so if it would have multiple expressions you move down to the chain where you want you press the h and the debugger will guide you all the way there um, we can step into a function well currently we only have the plus but if you would have uh, the add subtract and then you could step into the subtract if you want you can inject uh, a value so let's say that uh, currently it is three and two. So if we inject uh, expression to inject, uh, say uh, plus uh, six and 10, we hit enter and see what happens. And then the result would be 18. So the value of A was changed to the thing that we uh, injected. And so you can try out different features or uh, within your own code uh, pressing L will show you the locals so the local variables within the context that you, that you are in now and hitting the uh, N will step through um, the elements of the expression until and then the expression and then it will return uh, until you're at the end of the uh, chain really um, O for out, stepping out of a function. But you can also inspect. If you hit the P, you can say, well, throw me the value of B. And then you can uh, go and step into the um, structure that is there uh, within that variable. Um, you can grab a stack trace if you would want to see how you actually got to this point so you can uh, say that we evaluated from line 14 and then we went up 10 into 13 so very useful very useful uh, features and trace which i don't know how it works but the uh, uh, manual will probably have a very good say in it so this is one way of using the debugger so if we re-evaluate the function it is gone um, and now the, the um, if you evaluate it will just move along so it is fine for a one-off thing uh, but if you have a bit nastier problem you want to evaluate some stuff it doesn't really work so what can we do well we can tell cider to that we would want to debug the entire function by adding the uh, debug metadata or we can say we want to debug uh, from a certain point forward so uh, given this function we don't care about everything that happens before but once we hit the plus uh, expression we want to start debugging there so let's evaluate the code and then uh, you will see that the debugger kicks in when we get to this point so and then this debug results in five and that's it 
But what if we want to only stop there when the value is three uh, and we don't care about anything else? It's something called a conditional breakpoint. Uh, if you're more familiar with the Java uh, language, we can actually say break when, and then we can give it an expression. So in this case, a, we want a to be three. Um, we evaluate it. And now we are back in the debugger. But once we have a different func uh, value, uh, it will just run forward. So that's that's awesome. Um, perhaps the debugger in some cases is not uh, it's a little bit overkill. You just want to stop there to see what is going on. Um, or uh, in the Java world, uh, it's called a breakpoint. We can also make a breakpoint right here. Um, we run it and then we see that this expression results in four. Uh, the breakpoints here, you have access to the full debugger palette. You move to the next and it continues. So th those are very useful features within the debugging uh, chain, but there's not a lot more. The, the closure and closure script uh, language are quite simple. I'm not sure if it actually works for closure script at the moment they're working on it, um, but it might not work yet uh, as of writing now. Um, the documentation itself it is quite extensive at the moment. There's a um, uh, good introduction into how um, how you can use the debugger. Uh, it's not very very large, but it gets the job done. So that's what we really want. We want simple tools that do simple things. Hi, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you liked it. Um, if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Um, if you have not done so already, be sure to subscribe to the video right here. I think somewhere around there. Um, it will keep you up to date with all the live sessions. It will keep you up to date with other videos that I post. If you have never looked at my website, I'm Highly recommended, of course. Uh, I write about all the things that I do on YouTube and beyond. It's called www.buildfunthings.com. Of course, the entire channel is called Build Fun Things, so luckily it's the same thing. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.